cooking with the epic box again today making two more fast meals from the epic box well i've made one already i made the dessert i've made a cheesecake mud pie now i'm using a new earbud to see if you can hear me better so let me know hey deborah how's the sound quality can you hear me okay i'm using some new tech so i'm not sure if that's working well or not so let me know Sometimes the camera gets a little bit far away from me and this way I figure at least the mic always stays with my head. So how's the sound, Deborah? Let me know and then we'll carry on. Hey, everybody that's arriving, Sylvia, Debbie. Nice to see you all on this beautiful Thursday. Yes, thanks, Deborah. Okay, you know what? Today we're gonna cook out of the epic box again. Hello, Wisconsin. Uh, we are here to put together some more epic box meals and I'm not going to do exactly as per the package like always, okay? So, if you haven't received your epic box yet, I'm sorry this is a spoiler alert, but probably a whole lot of you have your epic boxes. Who knows what the epic box is? I know there's a few of you here, you probably have an epic box, you probably opened your epic box. Uh, so let me just tell you, if you're new here, what Epicure is. If you're watching the replay, hit replay for me when you're watching the replay or after party. Um, so, oh my gosh, Epic Box, so fun. Epicure is all about quick and easy meals on the table to take away the stress of every day. You know, you come in, you've got a million and one things to do, you've got to put dinner on the table. I'm gonna show you today, this dinner's gonna be on the table in like legit 10 minutes because we're gonna use a few like cheats that you've got around your kitchen. Why shouldn't you? Why does everything have to be done the more complicated way? So we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna to just bang it right out. We're gonna use some things in my Epic Box. So Epic Box is seven meals, a dessert, a surprise, and a sample. So I've already used some things in my Epic Box. Let's show you what I've got left. Tonight, we're gonna to use the Thai Red Curry. The first month, you've got two exclusives. So this is pretty lucky. Most people in their Epic Box each month will get one exclusive. The very first round of Epic Box people got two exclusives. Hey, Wendy, so nice that you're here live. Hey, Kim. Okay, so you got all this like beautiful little information. Did you know that every time you purchase an epic box, you get seven meals donated as well to charity. Like, right, how crazy is that? I love that. It's one of my favorite parts about epic box. So uh, here's, here's some things that the people that have the March epic box will be cooking. Next month will be a surprise. So what did I cook already? I made the mud pie. I've lost my package. It's around somewhere, I'll find it. You know what, I probably already binned it. Just a moment. Did I bin it? Yes, I did. And of course, it's on the very top of my bin. Mud pie. Okay? I made this the cheesecake version. Like you guys, I did a, you had to do a taste test. You know, I put it in the fridge. <gasps> mm, that's going to be gone. I might not eat my dinner. Okay, the other things in there is crab cakes. If you haven't seen it, there's a really wicked soup. There's a crab soup that you can make out of the crab cakes. I'll post it after my live, so that's super fun. And here's the cool thing, guys. When it comes, there's a QR code. If you haven't found this yet, is it on here? There's a QR code somewhere. Oh, it's on the paper. There's a QR code. Every month, there's a QR code, and all of the recipes, every package in your box has four recipes right there so you don't have to make what's on the package they're giving you four more right away for every single package like how nuts is that and every month every thursday i'm giving you my own recipes based on what happened to be in my fridge okay so classic crab cakes is in your epic box this month rotisserie chicken is in your epic box general tau uh, last week or the week before we did general tau yeah the week before we did general tau with beets and coconut milk. It was extraordinary. Oh my gosh, so good. Alfredo, I did Alfredo the other night with just water. Um, that really cool pasta from Costco that's made out of lentils. It was so good. In here you've got taco, super delicious taco seasonings, but I don't like the, you know what, the packages in the store, there's some stuff in there you don't really wanna be eating if you don't have to. 
the most of the packages are like two to three hundred grams of sodium this one's like ten like oh my god guys and then you can add this salt to your own taste it's brilliant and then shepherd's pie i think there's more things in there that i may have already cooked with because oh yeah i've already used the mud pie so look at all that cool stuff and a three onion dip and people are being fed like holy cow so i can't help you solve dinner every night but you know what you're gonna have seven meals with all sorts of options perfect for how your family works in one box and that's one week out of the month taken care of so that's like one week of less stress from your epic box 35 dollars canada 32 us right to your door so now let's get let's just drop everything and let's get cooking with my epic box oh my gosh okay guys so here's the deal frozen vegetables best thing ever go get yourself a giant bag of frozen vegetables who says you have to cook the vegetables who says you have to do the peeling there are no rules to this nonsense there's what you should do is put vegetables in your body how they get in your body you know take the shortcuts people so these are happen to be the kirkland mixed vegetables because you know i cook mostly from costco if it's not coming out of my own garden or the farmer's market it's probably coming from costco let me get rid of these okay there we go i'm just popping those right into my steamer i am not adding any not adding any water the package tells you to add water but that's because they're not using a steamer do not listen to the package okay they're gonna go in for three minutes okay Mary made the Alfredo okay who's got an epic box I need to see that I didn't see like the hearts last time who has an epic box order or who's used any of the products that I'm cooking with here tonight I want to see some hearts what's going on in the epic box world out there whether you're using an epic box to cook with tonight or whether you're just cooking with some meal solutions okay a couple of you do I not have my epic box people here tonight I know Mary's got an epic box so that, that was three of you are you guys asleep what's happening right now okay um, maybe you're all wanting the epic box and don't have it yet but I know there's like a huge number like we oversold our initial targets on epic box we just crushed this thing so meal solutions creativity here we go now I bought when I was in Costco a rotisserie chicken like you do right show of hands who smells the rotisserie chicken and when it's not on their list they buy the rotisserie chicken anybody else you smell the chicken you buy the chicken wasn't on the list so that's what we did yesterday and of course we got to Costco after like six hours at Ikea six hours picking my daughter up a kitchen she arrived on the day before she drove the entire country 5,500 kilometers in seven days on her own and the next day we drove back into Halifax to get Ikea anyway we got the chicken like we all do right we got the chicken I chopped up some of the, the chicken that we didn't eat last night it was in the fridge I've taken the pan drippings out of the chicken because that's going to be used every single time and the very first day she got here she made dessert and used half of a can of coconut milk so I had a half a can of coconut milk in my fridge so that's what I am making for dinner this is how I decide every night what's cooking for dinner what do I have in my fridge that I should use and make it go away okay so that's how come we're having this dinner today so there is my half a can of coconut milk I've got my Thai red curry open let's get that going now that's only a half a can so I'm not gonna use the whole package I'm gonna like try to use half of the package okay because oh that was not half the package a little bit more so I'm gonna try to use half the package because I want to save some for another meal because I have so many things in my fridge because as I said we went shopping after six hours of Ikea you know that thing when you go shopping when you're hungry we spent more I think than I have spent in whoopsie the last month and a half 
do not do that. It's not smart. Okay. Anyway, we're going to go in with a little bit of soy sauce. Yay, you're having... Oh, hang on. Let me just... I'm not used to this soy sauce. I, soy sauce. <laughs> There's a lot. Okay. Um, now, I'm going in with a little splash of fish sauce. Now, this came from my house, my old house, in an Epicure cruet. I don't want to put too much in. It's a very wide mouth. I will taste it and see if that's enough. So that's just fish sauce that was in a giant bottle. I couldn't fit it in my move. Now, this, of course, looks atrocious so far, but it will not stay like this. It feels really, really dark. Like, I think I may have killed myself with the amount of soy sauce that went in that. This does not look right at all, people. I think I was not paying attention. I think I was looking at you guys, and I might have, like, a crap ton of soy sauce in there. But we're gonna we're gonna cook it and find out, shall we? Okay, here we go. Let's throw that in. Now, in addition to all the things we just bought at Costco, I also had an enchilada casserole thawed to eat last night, and we didn't eat it. So we've got so much food to eat. So now I will do my very fancy package saving method. I will Put the edges down, and I will put on a clothespin. I am nothing if not high maintenance. So uh, now the other thing I've been craving lentils. Uh, Leslie just talked about having shepherd's pie. That was the next thing I was going to make out of my epic box. So I just put a variety of lentils in my little jar. I've got them soaking there. Uh, I'm going to cook those for 10 or 15 minutes, and I'm going to whip together that shepherd's pie, and you know what I'm going to put on top? Oh, it's going to be so good. On top, I'm going to put the, the jalapeno, the cheese and jalapeno cornbread, bake that on the top of my shepherd's pie. I am so excited. I might come live when I do it. Don't know. Ooh, let's talk about dessert. Okay. So who's had the mud pie as cheesecake? Anybody had the chocolate mud pie as cheesecake yet? This is my next, my like, for the rest of my life thing. <laughs> like, this is it, right here. I, I am obsessed. Um, now, I'm almost afraid to get a spoon out, you guys. So, I'll tell you what I did. I just took a block of cream cheese, I softened it for about a minute in the microwave, I cut it into chunks, and then I just whisked it like softened it and added a little bit of whipping cream because my daughter bought whipping cream to make desserts. It's a dangerous thing to have her here. Uh, and then, I, that was it. I put it in the mix. Like it's like a thick, rich, velvety, chocolatey, like look, look. Okay, I need to see some hearts, you guys, because this is everything right here. This is chocolate decadence with that little hint of coffee underneath. Oh my gosh. So, because I was doing the gluten-free version, I didn't even have a crust. It's just a giant bowl of chocolate amazingness. Like seriously, that's so good. So it tastes like cheesecake mousse. Mm. Like, like it's so thick. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You know, because agar agar is this really cool texture. Now, let me, what I wanted to do, agar agar is what they use to make this a vegan thing. Now, of course, I've added um, cream cheese to it. It's no longer vegan, but the regular recipe is all with coconut milk. Now, I want to take like my little spoon. No, nope, not firm enough. I added too much. I added too much whipping cream. If I hadn't added any, it would have been much firmer, almost like, a chocolate cheesecake jello, and I was gonna like scoop fun shapes out of it. But I added a little bit too much whipped cream, so I don't have that texture. So if you want a firm chocolate jello texture, chocolate cheesecake jello, don't add any whipped cream to it or milk to thin it out. If you want more of a cheesecake thick, rich pudding texture, add a little bit of whipped cream, a block of cream cheese to your chocolate mud pie. Like this dangerous as shit. Okay, so now, 
This did not boil over. Good thing, because I was not paying attention. Okay, so I've got my sauce. It needs some time. Everything is not quite hot yet because I had my beautiful coconut milk. It's not even fully melted in here yet. Okay, let me just test my flavors though to make sure I didn't kill myself with an overabundance of soy sauce when I wasn't looking. Oh, yum. Okay, no, we're good. Well, I got, got a little heat on the back of that. Right here. Hang on. <coughs> Perfect. Um, now, I'm just gonna put in my chicken. <laughs> I'm entertaining a three month old, I love that. Okay. There we go, got my chicken in there. I'm just gonna let this simmer. Check on my vegetables. I forgot I put all of that extra, oh, huh. you know why this is so thin? I just realized my daughter, when she opened the can of coconut milk, what she did is she skimmed all of the coconut cream off the coconut milk to have it as the topping on the dessert. So I've got super thin coconut milk. So if I'd had standard coconut milk, this would probably be the proper thickness already, but this is gonna need to cook down a bit because I've got the watery coconut milk. So I've done this before in under 10 minutes. I don't think that's gonna be the drill today because I have the watery coconut milk. Let's just check our vegetables. Look at our beautiful vegetables. I don't even remember how much time I put on them. Maybe three minutes, I think three minutes. Anyway, look at that. So I have got some rice. So I made rice two days ago. Of course, it's still good. I'm just gonna reheat it in my steamer. Now I'm just gonna take half of my vegetables. Just a moment. We're gonna load up. I'm gonna put my vegetables. Oh, they're not quite as warm as I want them to be. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do, guys? Hold the phone. Ta-da! Okay, so now my vegetables will warm through with my sauce. Beauty. I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute together to warm it all together, and I'm going to give this a quick rinse, and I'm gonna warm up some rice. Give that a quick rinse. I mean, I don't need to rinse it to warm up the rice, but I don't want my rice to be completely dirty looking when I put it on the plate. So that's the only reason I'm gonna rinse it, is just because the rice would be dirty. So there's two portions of rice. That would be like just over a half a cup each. This is gonna go in probably for about a minute, minute and a half. love the cheesecake idea. Yeah, not a fan of crust. Yay, I love that too. Okay, so I want to know if you've got an epic box or what did you cook this week? What have you cooked this week with Epicure? If you're watching the replay and you've got a photo, drop it there for us. We always love seeing people's food photos. Always a good deal. Just gonna swirl my sauce around, get my sauce nice and deep and delicious on all my vegetables. So, and I wanna know if you've used some of the recipes from your Epic Box, did you go and use the alternate recipes or did you use the recipe on the package? Inquiring wines want to know. Now let me just taste this again. See what I might need to adjust. Mm. Rotisserie chicken. Oh, yes. Brilliant. Mm, so good. Okay, I'm going to a little bit more of the... Maybe I'll just put this underneath just in case. Oh, that. Good thing I did that. A little bit more fish sauce, like maybe half a teaspoon. It's going to give the saltiness that it needs, as well as... Oh, well, put some rice in there. Um, oh, set. Oh, seven croquettes. What? Okay, when this is over, I need a photo, Kim. Okay, that, so fish sauce is very common in Thai cooking if you haven't cooked with Thai food. Mm -hmm. That's that, mm, 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 mm. that underlying party happening there. Okay, let's check our rice. Oh, 
that's hot as heck. Oh, a salmon, oh, salmon noodle dish. What? I love that. Oh, I have to go check that. I didn't even look at the recipes, but I knew they would be good. Thai red curry salmon noodles. Like, I'm all over that. That sounds amazing. So I've got my little pile of rice going on here. There you go, take my half of the rice. Now I'm cooking for two. So we're gonna put that over there for her, put the lid back on, keep it nice and warm. I've got some fresh lime juice. So I need to see both of these things. Ashley, Kim, I need to see photos when we're done here, please and thank you. Come back to the comments and drop one for me. Of course, I'm using a fresh lime from my citrus press. And you know what the favorite part of my dinner tonight was? I didn't even dirty a cutting board. The only thing I had to cut was my lime. Okay, so while my while that's reheating, let me show you my recent order. I don't even know what it was. I came home today and there was an order at the door. So let's find out what I ordered. I, by the time it comes, like I put it in and then it's come, I completely forget. Oh, well, there's a surprise. <laughs> what a shock. I ordered protein powder because y'all haven't seen my giant protein cupboard overloaded with protein and if you're in Nova Scotia and you have some of these containers I want them so please don't want them yourself please give them to me uh, so look at that I I only have like a backup of each protein so I needed more oh and this is for my neighbor Shireen she lives right around the corner I got her one of those off awesome waffle makers Shireen if you're watching come on by let's see what else did I get for myself Oh, ramen broth. You guys, like how is everybody not just pouring that in their mouth and eating it all day long, every day? Tutti fruity. Oh, ooh, I want to put some on my chocolate pudding just for the color. Oh, and feisty green. Okay, so I put this in, this order in right after our last live. That came quickly because I ran out of feisty green in the middle of my cook. And it was very sad and I needed to get more. Okay. We are ready to eat. Let's go. We're going to finish this on the plate with a little lime. I could put it in there, but some of this might get reheated and the lime is better when it's like fresh right at the end. I'm going to get the best scooping utensil on the planet. I think I want a bowl though, so don't mind me. Just a moment. This feels more bowl-like tonight. You know, after I saw the ramen, I was just thinking like of happy warm soup action. So here we are. Yes, thank you very much, Sharon, saving my head. We're gonna go in with our happy warm scoopy action. There we go, some delicious vegetables, some chicken. That's on the plate in a matter of minutes. Hang on, I gotta pull the yellow up to the top so you can see all the different colors and the orange and the green. A little bit more green in there because you got to have lots of veggies. There you go. So I have got Thai red curry, chicken and vegetables. Half of it came from Costco. The other half came from gardens around the world. I don't know, but it's ready and it's fast. So don't beat yourself up by taking the cheats. Grab the cheats, get the quick bags of veggies, grab the can of coconut milk. You're not pressing the coconut yourself. You don't have to do the veggies from scratch. And you can have your dinner ready in like 10 minutes. No guilt, no fuss, no must. Fresh Thai food with your family. I mean, how crazy is that, right? And of course, always this cheesecake chocolate pudding. Oh my God. I think my earbud died. I don't know if you're hearing me on the camera. Hopefully you are. But you got to make this chocolate mud pie pudding business. I think I might actually freeze it because I'm gonna eat it too fast. Mm. You might not eat my dinner. This is so good, so good, so good. Gotta go make this. Thanks everyone, bye.